Welcome back, I'm Lizzie Pierce here with Adobe Stock and Epidemic Sound, and today we're talking about how to make an awesome YouTube channel intro. An intro is a great way to set the tone for your channel. Who are you? What's your channel going to be about? These are all questions that can be answered with a channel intro. It's a fantastic way to brand yourself and get the viewer excited about what's to come. So I'm gonna show you guys how I built that intro you just saw. A great intro consists of three technical things. The footage, showing you doing whatever it is you're doing on your channel. Graphics with your name or listing off what your channel is about and of course, a catchy music track. What I love about Adobe Stock's motion graphics templates is that now I can search and edit all my graphics within Premiere Pro. Now I don't have to work in multiple applications at once. As for music, we're all used to going over to Epidemic Sound, finding the perfect music track, downloading it, filing it away, and importing it into our project file. Now you can access Epidemic Sound's amazing library through Adobe Stock Audio, which is also integrated right inside Adobe Premiere Pro, making it easier to sample how the tracks sound with your project, all inside Premiere Pro. Let me show you how it's done. So I have this footage that's already color graded and is ready to go. Next, I need to add the little jingle song to go with it, and instead of going on the internet and searching Epidemic Sound, all I have to do is click this Essential Sound panel to access Adobe Stock, then search through. As you can see, Epidemic Sound is included in this Adobe Stock audio section, so I can search through some Epidemic Sound soundtracks. They have a filtering system to help you find the perfect track and narrow down your search. I'm going to filter using the tempo, duration, and mood. I also want this to be a background track, so let's select no vocals. I really like this song right here, so to use it, all you have to do is drag it right into your timeline. I'm gonna make some small adjustments to the cut of the footage so that it matches the music. And lastly, I want to end with a graphic of my name. So I'm going to search through the Adobe Stock Graphics section for one that I like. This one's cool, so I'm just gonna drag it right into my timeline, and now I'm going to customize it by changing the font and the colors. So I could adjust the colors, but I actually do like the white that it comes with, so let's just leave it as is. And for the font, I love fonts that have a typewriter look or fonts that are thin and all caps. So let's choose this one right here. Now let's see how it all looks together. There you have it, a quick yet effective YouTube intro. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos on the Creators Lab series.